Natural gas might be getting all the attention as an alternative fuel to diesel in recent years, but Volvo has set its sights on a fuel it says is even cleaner and provides more diesel-like performance than gas. Dimethyl ether, or DME, is a fuel that's manufactured from biomass and used as a propellant in products like aerosol sprays. Oberon Fuels has developed a way to create DME on a small scale at customer sites using a proprietary new manufacturing process. That development has prompted Volvo to announce it will commercialize a DME fuel truck for the North American market beginning in 2015. Volvo announced the new launch at a press event at the California State Capitol in Sacramento. I was there and caught up with Alternative Fuels marketing manager Ed Saxman to ask why Volvo is so excited about DME. Well, dimethyl ether, or DME, is uh, similar to the other natural gas uh, alternative fuels with one big exception. You do not find it in nature, so it's manufactured. And that means as a manufactured fuel, it's very consistent. Uh, every molecule in the fuel tank is the same, and it has consistent properties and temperatures. And those differ from the available natural gas fuels in, in some pretty interesting ways. You know, we have uh, compressed natural gas and liquefied natural gas. And to compress gas and put it on a truck, we have to compress it to 3,600 PSI. So that's a challenge to the truck design. We overcome that with a lot of carbon graphite filament that's wrapped around and around in the tank. And it makes the tank heavy, but we can contain that high pressure uh, without leaking any fuel over time. And it's a really great fuel tank. And then we have liquefied natural gas. There the challenge is, it's refrigerated to 260 degrees below zero just to get it to become a liquid and then it's always trying to warm up. So the tank then is expensive because it's a double walled tank, kind of like a thermos bottle uh, with a stainless steel inner liner and a vacuum in between. And you have to maintain that vacuum for it to work really well, and it does. But the interesting thing about dimethyl ether then is that um, it's always at ambient temperature. Today it's, what, 80 degrees here? But think of your barbecue, and everybody's got an LPG canister in the back, and the primary component in that is propane. DME will handle very much like that. With that low of a pressure and, and with the ambient temperature, the, the tank is similar to a, a, a propane tank. It's much more inexpensive to make. It's also scalable. It's very easy to make a water tank, and that means we'll have the feasibility to put uh, the right size tank on, on the appropriate wheelbase without any longer wheelbases. We feel we'll be able to have 600 miles range on uh, the appropriate day cab wheelbase, which means that uh, that's what I feel uh, you need as a minimum range, and that exceeds what some alternative fuels uh, are today. So you have the advantage of more range with DME as well. One of the things Volvo loves about DME is the base engine doesn't require a drastic overhaul. The DME engine is, in some respects, simpler than today's diesel. DME, or dimethyl ether, uses the same basic engine that uh, a diesel process uses. It's going to have to have a different fuel system uh, because DME uh, is less dense uh, in terms of energy content per gallon. So it's going to take more liquid gallons to equal one DGE or one energy equivalent, really, of DME that has the same energy as, as diesel. That means we do have to change the injection pump. So that's the biggest design challenge. And it's not much of a challenge because the pump will operate at a fraction of today's pressure. Today's diesel fuel uh, engines have extremely high fuel injection pressure in order to atomize that, that fuel molecule into smithereens to get it to burn without soot. DME burns without soot at all because there's no carbon-carbon bonds in the molecule. It just will not make soot. It burns with a blue flame. It burns clean. So it does not need a diesel particulate filter. Um, and the advantage of that then is that with, with less after treatment, we have absolutely no soot. The response on this engine is fantastic because there's no smoke limiter and the turbo wheel can be spooled down that, that uh, when you stomp on it, it spools up very fast. Uh, you use a small diameter wheel for that. And uh, so it's got some advantages over diesel and over some of the other alternative fuels. And it, you're right, it does require a little adaptation. I took Volvo's DME truck on an extended drive around Sacramento. It performed virtually identically to the diesel engines we're accustomed to. The fact Volvo says it can build DME trucks for roughly the same price as diesels is intriguing. It would allow fleets to wean themselves off diesel without the high upfront costs associated with natural gas. With that in mind, it's little wonder the company is excited about the potential for DME.